We came home from school and everyone knew that she was missing. But it was the following day that she was found and everyone was on tenterhooks waiting uh, and wondering where she could have been. It was a horrific murder. We knew she'd been shot, but that was all we knew at the time. And then later on, when things appeared in the newspaper, then we were able to read them. But um, we were innocent kids then. I was a great friend of Muriel's. We were in school together, we were in guides, and uh, we played together. Muriel was very talented. She was good in school. She had long hair, always in ringlets, and always immaculate, right down her back. But she lived in the most outlandish place. It was very lonely, and it was about, uh, I should say, two and a half miles from the village, with, well, no habitation, just the woods. It spoiled the village completely because people looked at each other with uh, suspicion. And uh, it was as if uh, evil had pen penetrated the village. It was very, very sad. And it, it spoiled us for, for us kids then because uh, before we weren't afraid of anything, but we were very nervous and our parents were worse than we were. Even a psychic has visited the scene. She believes the killer is still alive. I'm sensing a gentleman, Clustra. Okay. This man, she knows this man. As I'm walking, if you can imagine, as I'm looking up here now, I'm seeing her going ahead. And I'm seeing a, a man close to her. Is somebody who's trying to talk to her? Is it been a, is a gentleman who's trying to talk to her? She wasn't feeling very comfortable with him then. I feel that like she knew him. She definitely knew him. Now from behind I've seen a chap with mousy coloured hair, some sandy coloured, could even be sandy, gingery, sandy, sandy coloured hair. A thick set boy. So it twenties. A black heavy, heavy jacket on. A short box heavy jacket on. Thick. He's around her, he's hovering around her. Not quite touching her, but he's definitely around her, I'm seeing. So it's a gentleman with um, a heavy jacket on, a Hessian type heavy jacket, square pockets. The way I'm seeing him is uh, the heavy jacket. She, she knows him, she, she's seen him before. He's normally, she show, she's saying he's normally with other men. So he's normally with another two men. He's always there with them, he's, he's on his own. The way she showed me the picture, he could have worked on the railway with, there was two other men. She kept show, picturing, picturing the railway with two other men and him. But there's a man that would have held his head down. So it, it's coming across as if he was quite young, quite shy when he was with these men. Mm. I don't feel he's talked to before like he is now. It's something in his pockets too. Um, he's got, um, okay, like gingery freckles, um, okay, he's not old, I would have thought he's in his 20s, around that age, because I'm seeing gingery, blondy hair and, and freckles. She knew him, she definitely knew him. He's a heavy man, but young. I keep asking my guides to help me now, to show me the man again. Dark trousers. Your jumper's on underneath, jumper's on. He's come from a farm. He's come from a farm, we keep being told. And I feel he had his dad's gun. He come from a farm. That's the image I'm seeing. Uh, was whether his father was somebody that travelled. Gingery hair, fairish hair, okay. 
and every time I'm asking is he from the area not always so if somebody could have could have worked here for a while and then went back or stayed with relatives and then went back so he's come from away and he stayed with relatives and had to go back but he had his father's gun there was one bullet missing from his gun don't feel he's very well educated okay keep asking I believe he's still alive I believe he's still alive. So I feel he's 80 something. I believe he's still alive. He's sitting there. I can see him clear as as if I'm looking at you. I can see him clear as a bell. He's sitting in a chair and he's an old man today. So the young man is now an old man. He's still alive. This man is still alive. She keeps saying, I know he's there. He's definitely still on this earth. He's definitely still here. She came from away, she's saying Uncle Bill living away, Uncle Bill. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if you come from um, Redden area or I keep seeing the word Redden. Every time I'm asking my guide, I'll show you that. He's definitely still alive though, I can see him sitting in the chair, a bit of a pot. David or Davis. Could have been in his name. Could have been in his name. Maybe a surname, maybe a first name. And a Walter, and a, Wal and a Walter. And the name Walter keeps coming to mind, so that's in relation to his family. Somebody called Walter. He's living away, he's living in his own. I feel that he's been living with a lady, or oh, we've had two ladies in his time. He's had a bit of a heart problem, this man have. Um, we've had problems with a hernia as well. Okay, guys, come on, show me. He's living on his own, he's TV mad. He's done nothing since. This man's got to be found.